Hi, I'm Elliot from Chauvin Our New UK, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Pell 113 using your PC and our Pell transfer software. It's a simple process. So that being said, let's get started. Before we begin, there's a couple of things that we need to make sure of. First thing, we need to make sure we've downloaded and installed the Pell transfer software from the Chauvin R new website, and then connect your Pell 113 to the Figaro 8 mains lead that's supplied with the unit. Next, connect the Pell 113 to your PC using this USB cable that's supplied. So once you've done that, to connect the Pell 113, we open up the Pell transfer software and go to instrument and then select add instrument. From the list, select Pell 113 and click next to choose USB as your connection method. Press the next, the software will automatically detect the Pell 113. Once it appears, click next and then hit finish. And just like that, you should have a tick indicating that we're connected. You can see that on the list, there's live data already coming through, including the date, time, battery status, and more. You can also check the recorded sessions tab to view any previous saved data, or the real-time data tab for live measurements like voltage, current, and total harmonic distortion. Now, let's get into the configuration. Click on the spanner icon, Load the current settings. We'll go through each section to make sure that everything's set up for your login session. First, let's update the basic information. Under name and location, you can either set the location and name of your device, depending on where it's being used or which project you're a part of. Next, we need to adjust the display contrast and brightness to your preference. For auto power off settings, I recommend setting this either to three or five minutes. This tells the Pell to stay on for that period of time if the power is interrupted, allowing it to log the event before shutting down. Once the power is restored, it will power back up and continue the login session. Remember, it's important to check the clock settings. If the time is incorrect or inaccurate, your clock data could be out of sync. You can synchronize the Pell's clock with your PC by clicking set clock and then synchronize it with your PC clock. This will ensure the time is accurate for your login session. Next, let's move over to the Communications tab. The Pell 113 supports several communication options like Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. Now, let's configure the measurement settings. You can choose what type of electrical installation you're working with. You will see a helpful diagram on the right-hand side showing you how to connect the Pell to the voltage and current sensors. For the current transformer connections, make sure that the arrows on the CT is always pointing towards the load as shown in the diagram. This ensures the correct measurements. The Pell 113 will automatically detect the current sensors that you have connected. You just need to choose the correct current range for your installation. I'm selecting 100 amps here. If you're using a flexible CT with multiple wraps around the cable, then you'll need to adjust this in the settings to reflect the number of wraps. Next, let's set up the recording options. You can name your session here, then choose whether you want to start recording immediately or schedule for a future recording. You can also define the duration of the session or set the exact start and stop times. Under the aggregation period, you can choose how often this data will be summarized, ranging from anywhere from one minute to 60 minutes. If you want more detailed data, you can also choose to record individual harmonics or one second trends for parameters like current, voltage and power factor. Before starting, check the memory bar at the bottom on the screen to make sure there's enough space on the SD card installed. Under the meter tab, you can reset energy meters to track values over time and compare them with other equipment. You can also configure alarm conditions here. For example, if the voltage goes above or below a certain threshold, the software will log the event and send an email notification if you've set that parameter up. With the nominal values, we need to make sure that we're set at 400 volts and 230 volts. Finally, in the reports tab, you can set up automatic reports to be sent via email to regular intervals. Whatever parameters you pre-configure will be able to set in this section here. Once you've configured everything to your liking, just click OK and your settings will be saved to the Pell 113. Thank you for listening, everyone. That is it. You've successfully set up your Pell 113 for your login session with the Pell Transfer software. It's easy to configure and customize the device to fit your specific needs. 
Thanks for watching. We hope that this video helps you get the most out of your Pell 113. If you have any questions or would like a demonstration, please don't hesitate to contact myself or someone from the team, or you can email info at chauvin-rnu.co.uk.